Hey guys, so today is another blue look. Pretty fun look. I think this would be great for a party. Um, before anyone asks what's on the back of my hand, if my hand comes into view, this swatches because I was trying to decide which blue color I have to use. Um, so let's get started. I already applied Irma Decay Primer Potion to my lid. And then I'm going to take Simi Shade Stick, which you don't need. You could use any other blue base or no blue base at all. You just have to pack on the color a little more. And I'm just going to apply this to my lid. What's nice is <laughs> it's warm out, so this goes on a lot easier. I didn't really find it that hard to put on before, but it goes on more smooth now that it's warm out. And you don't want this in your crease. So stop a little bit before your crease and then blend it out with your finger or a brush if you prefer. Um, the shade sticks tend to work better with blending with your finger than with a brush because the warmth of your finger kind of makes it melt a little more. Just dab it. And rub it gently. That sounded perverted. Um, <laughs> then I'm going to take my Blue 239 and Atlantis from Milani, which is a dupe of Electric Eel or Clarity from MAC, which I don't have either of those, but I have this, which is good enough. Make sure you tap off your brush because you will get the blue all over under your eyes and I probably will still so and then I'm not rubbing this I'm patting it and then when I put my brush down I'm kind of jiggling it which is different than rubbing <laughs> I feel so out of practice and it's only been a few days so you want to pack this on all over your lid and stopping at the crease do not go into the crease all right then I know I'm like moving on to the next one I'm still working on the first step um, I'm going to take my CVS crease brush and I'm going to use dark edge, just a, I don't know if it's matte or satin. It's a satin, but it's mostly, it looks matte. Um, and I'm going to take that, my crease brush, and I'm just going to go right in the crease, not blending down. And I'm not gonna really gonna use this one for blending today. You wanna take it pretty much all the way across. Make sure you tap it off really well too, or you will get really bad fallout. I already have a little bit. And you're just going back and forth. You're not going down at all. And then once you have that, you can switch to a blending brush or you can stick with that if you want. I'm using the 226 and I'm just getting it on the tips, if you can see that. And I tapped it off and then come over this, come over it, go over this and start blending it up. Again, don't blend down because this is sort of a cut crease look, not my typical look. I love the way the bristles on this are cut. It just blends so easily. And you can start working this into whatever shape you like. 
you don't want to get a lot on your brush because it can get out of control really fast so you just want to work in small amounts dipping back into the color if you need to You want it to fade out. There's pretty much nothing on the brush right now. So I'm taking it on the edge. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Java Bean from Milani the shimmery brown one just because I wanted to add a little bit of shimmer to this because the, the blue is a matte color too so I'm just taking this over the brown it doesn't add too much just kind of adds a little bit of depth to that color And then if you don't have dark edge and you do have java bean, you could just use java bean or if you can't afford MAC, just use java bean. It's a great dark brown. And then I'm going to get a little bit more of that Atlantis in my 239. Just going over it again. And not I'm not blending the colors together, just kind of making the line a little less harsh then and this is going to help further blend it a little bit i'm using mutiny pigment which i think it was either re-released again or it's going to be i don't remember i haven't been keeping up on collections because I can't buy anything so if I don't look at it I don't get upset that I can't buy anything and I'm going to take this in a little bit above my tear duct and take it up and then I'm going to take this along the crease it doesn't really add color to the lid or to the crease it just kind of helps those blend a little bit more It's not really that noticeable either there, if you look. So, you could very easily just leave that out. Um, there's something in my eye. Um, I'm going to use a wipe, and this is one from Target. Makeup wipe. And get the fallout. Then I'm going to use Vanilla Pigment and Fluffy Brush. And this can really help if your line is still a little bit harsh to blend it out. Concentrate most of the color up by your brow, on your brow bone, and then take the rest and use it to help blend out. And then when you're happy with that, I'm going to apply some black liner and mascara it's fine if you tilt your head back when you're looking in the mirror to apply the liner it is a lot less scary and you're less likely to blink I don't know why I just said that so weird okay and then I'm using Benefit Bad Gal Lash
and oh, I have something in my eye. That is pretty much it, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.